So we've been releasing a lot of really cool features here at Tab9. And I figured it was only right to give everyone here a little overview of the UI and all the cool things you can expect to experience. So let's dive in. When I open up my IDE here, uh, in this case, I'm using Visual Studio Code, but we support Visual Studio 2022, Eclipse, the entire JetBrains family, as well as NeoVim. And we also support a total of six, well, over 600 languages and frameworks as well. So within the IDE here, when I click this tab nine icon, it's gonna populate this tab nine chat. And starting at the bottom, this is where you can use everyday natural language to enter your prompts and queries. You can get more specific by using at commands or at mentions. At mentions will allow you to reference specific files, um, functions, methods, classes. You can really get specific and add some awesome context to your prompts. Next to that, you'll be able to find your uh, custom commands, as well as some of our agents. Um, so your explain code, generate test code, document code, and fix code, as well as code explorer. Those all come standard with tab nine. Now these ones, some useful, some sort of funny, uh, or silly, if you will, uh, are all ones I created. And I'll show you how to do that here shortly. Next to that, you can have the ability to add images as context, right? So uh, UI changes, or if you're hunting specific features or areas of a program, but you don't know where they're at, you can use images to add extra context to your queries. Additionally, this is where you'll be able to find our JIRA agent. So when you click that, it's gonna populate a dropdown that shows all of the tickets that are specifically assigned to me my individual user in JIRA. And even more so, it's only gonna show the ones that are uh, or have been active within the last 30 days. Above that, you're gonna be able to determine your scope, which is a cool new feature in tab nine. We've always had the ability to turn on things like uh, local indexing or code base connection, but now you have the ability to really control your context on a uh, query by query or conversation by conversation basis, which is really powerful. So you can go in and you can add or remove certain areas uh, to your scope or of your scope to, uh, as context to your queries, right? So if you want to add specific repositories, you can do that and remote into them uh, without having to go in and actually look at the code on GitHub. Now to the right of the chat, you'll find our test agent. And our test agent has the ability to generate comprehensive test plans. Uh, and it's really cool because you can use it in two ways, right? You can start from scratch and you can add or create a you know, test plan from nothing. Uh, or you can add uh, a test plan that you've already created or previously created with tab nine, and you can keep reiterating on that test plan and feeding it through the test agent to gain pretty much full coverage, which we all know is incredibly difficult. To the right of the testing agent, you're gonna find our settings section. And I think historically for a lot of products, this hasn't been very exciting, but to me, this is my favorite part of tab nine, and I'll show you why. So for starters, this is where you can uh, integrate with Jira uh, on a user by user basis. Obviously this has to be turned on by your administrator. Below that, you can determine your response length. So every day is a school day for me. I'm always gonna prefer a comprehensive style response length, but if you're, uh, you know, senior developer who's been there for a very long time, maybe you prefer straight to the point answers and that's when you choose something like concise. Now below this is custom behaviors. And this is one of my favorite features of tab nine. 
I think it's going to transform how developers interact and use our platform. Now, what you can do is determine at a high level how Tab9 is going to respond to you uh, with every interaction. So in this case, I want it to refer to me by Overlord. I want it to follow native platform logging standards, uh, adding logging entry and exit statements, uh, and so on and so forth. Follow test-driven development and answer first with the unit test and second uh, with the code under the test and so on and so forth, right? You can really get specific here. Below that, you're gonna have the ability to add custom commands, another one of my favorite areas of tab nine. So here you can do something simple, right? Like, Let's find a good one. Create Jira info. So for the selected code, generate a Jira ticket that has a description of what it is, acceptance criteria, and all other relevant info for Jira. Now it can't actually create the ticket, but it can generate all the copy for what you're trying to do in your IDE, which is really useful because people don't often write good Jira tickets. Now, if we want to up it a notch and get a little more complex, I'll show you a custom command that does just that. So what we can do here is we can reference specific files within our custom commands. Uh, in this case, we're going to reference project guidelines uh, for proper documentation. And then we're going to create documentation for the selected code based on the guidelines that are found within that markdown file. So not only is it going to generate documentation, but it's going to doc generate documentation exactly how my team generates documentation, which is really important. Now, even more within the developer flow is our quick commands dropdown. So command I on a Mac will populate this menu here which at the top, of course, you can use everyday language and just type in instructions for the action you're trying to perform on this block of code. You can also just access our quick commands here. So our pre-built uh, agents like fix code, document code, explain code, and code explore. Additionally, you can determine your scope, right? If you want it to be 103 to 165 or if you want something that's slightly bigger or slightly smaller and you can also determine which model you're using from this drop down as well i prefer claude 3.5 sonnet right now but you do have the ability to let's say use 3.7 uh, and it'll automatically change for this query here as well as within the drop down up top so that's it for the tab 9 ui overview but there's a whole lot more I didn't get a chance to show you. And if you want to see it, come join a tab nine office hours that happens every Wednesday. Register in the link below.